Now a little note about notation, about writing negative numbers. All these three are actually okay, they are just fine. There are different ways of writing the negative numbers. First one, I've been using this in this lesson, negative 4 minus 3. Now here, we put parentheses around the negative number, around the negative 4, which is just fine too. And here, the minus sign is elevated, so this is negative 4. This minus sign is not elevated because it is indicating subtraction. It's indicating the operation we are doing, okay? And it does not belong to this 3. It's not negative 3 in that sense. Let's solve these. Of course, they all have the same answer. Imagine being at negative 4 and jumping 3 steps towards more negatives. So you end up at 7 negatives, right? Negative 7. Basically, you just add 4 plus 3 equals 7. That's how many negatives you have in the end. All of these are negative 7. I could put negative 7 in parentheses, or I could use the elevated negative sign or minus sign. However, usually the answer alone is not put into parentheses. It's correct, but this is more common. Here is also an addition. The same rule applies. You could write it as being in parentheses or with the elevated minus sign or without parentheses. There are some cases where we'll, we'll, we will need the parentheses around the negative number so that we don't confuse this negative with subtraction. But here that is not the case, there is no confusion. So how do we solve it? You can imagine. Imagine being at negative 5 and jumping two steps. Two steps towards the positive. So you end up with less negatives. So this is minus. I hope you can see that. All of these are minus 3. Let's solve some additions and subtractions now thinking about the number line jumps. You can probably do this without the number line even. Try, pause the video for a little while and try these problems on your own. Okay, 4 minus 6. You add 4 and you jump 6 steps towards the negatives. So that means that you go, go past 0. If it was 4 minus 4, you would go to 0. But you have to go 2 steps further than that, so you end up in negative 2. 2 minus 7, the same thing happens. You end up somewhere in the negatives. You can actually use a shortcut of subtracting 7 minus 2 equals 5. That tells you how many steps into the negatives you will get. The answer is negative 5. Minus 2 minus 3, or negative 2 minus 3. You are at negative 2 and you go 3 steps further into the negatives. So that is negative 5. Same, the same happens here. Basically you add 5 plus 8 equals 13, but that's all in the negatives. Minus 6 plus 7. Now you are in the negatives, but you come towards the positive, and 7 steps towards the positive is enough to get you past 0. You go just one step past 0 to 1. Negative 1 plus 1 just lands you exactly at 0. Now how about this? The same applies. You can think of the first number as your starting point, then these are movements. So you start at negative 3, like here for example. And then you go five steps towards the positives. That would land you to zero and two steps here. And then you go six steps towards the negatives. So first these two and then four more. We are at negative four, therefore. Or here, start at two, go six steps towards the left. So after this movement, you are at negative four. Then you go one more step towards the negatives. So you are at negative five. Then you move three steps towards the 0, negative 5 plus 3, so you will end up at negative 2, right? Lastly, here is a little situation with temperature changing, and we will write an addition-subtraction sentence to match it. The temperature is 2 degrees Celsius, and then it drops 3 degrees. That's like the movement down, movement towards the left. Then it drops 2 degrees more, and then it rises one degree. What is it now? Okay, our starting point is of course two. And then it drops, so we subtract three. 
and then it drops two more, so we subtract two more, and then it rises one, so we add one. So what would be the result, okay? Two minus three, that would put you at negative one. Minus two more would be then negative three, and plus one, so you'll end up at minus two degrees Celsius. Okay, well done. I hope this was helpful.